Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My weekly upload day will now be on a Thursday. I recently started my full time job and just because of my days off I have to kind of change it to where I can upload and film for you guys. So now the weekly upload day is Thursday so make sure you come back every Thursday and there will be a brand new video. How are you digging my background? This candle, Home Sweet Home by Yankee Candle is one of the best smelling Yankee candles. Like it is so good. It just smells of like autumn and just mm, like it's so spicy and just oh I love it. <laughs> I've had a lot of requests for kind of drugstore related videos because um, in my videos recently I've used quite a few high-end products and the majority of you girls that watch my videos are you know teens and younger girls so I'm gonna be showing you my top favorite kind of drugstore items and stuff that I use. The first favorite I'm gonna be talking to you about is the Maybelline Dream Pure BB Cream, 8-in-1 BB Cream. Uh, I love this, I've been using this every day for work recently. Um, it's not just a BB cream, I would say this is more of a foundation. It hasn't got like a sheer coverage or anything. It's definitely not full coverage, but it's got a medium, you know, quite buildable coverage. The reason why I love it so much is it's got salicylic acid in it. It's got 2% salicylic acid, um, it's for oily skin. You don't have to have oily skin to use this, but it just contains salicylic acid, which helps get rid of blemishes and spots. So, if you're a teen, this is perfect for you because hormones, etc, and even if you don't have any blemishes, this can help prevent it. Um, at least then when you're wearing makeup, you're kind of treating the skin as well. Um, I've noticed that my skin has been quite, you know, a lot better when it comes to wearing this. But it says it conceals imperfections, helps protect against the appearance of blemishes, oil-free, non-greasy, minimizes the appearance of pores, clarifies the skin's look, conceals redness, hydrates and smooths, and it converts the skin tone. The only thing I would say is that it does get a little bit oily for me in the T-zone and on my chin, um, so I do have to bring a powder, but I always bring powder no matter what foundation I use. There's only three shades, I believe. There's like light, medium, and dark, I'm not sure. I got medium but it's too light for my skin so I actually mix it with number 13, the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is actually extremely dark but um, I just use a little bit of this and then mix it together and it's perfect. Moving on to powder, this has been my favourite for months. This powder is amazing, it is the Matte Makeup by Maybelline. This is the cheapest drugstore powder I've found personally. It's so cheap and affordable but it's so, so good. It doesn't like cake up the skin, it just completely mattifies. They have different shades, I'm in 5 Sun Beige, but um, I wish, I don't know if they have a translucent, I wish they did. And this works really well with the BB cream. Um, I'm wearing the powder today and the BB cream mixed with a little bit of the Fit Me concealer. Um, and it's pretty good, I think. <laughs> Another thing that I'm always mentioning is the L'Oreal Paris Color Riche Le Ombre Pure Eyeshadow. This is in the shade Chameleon or 600 opalescent. It's got like two names. This is incredible. I use this as a highlight, um, as a highlight on the high points of my cheekbones, and uh, not only as an eyeshadow. It's just incredible. I love multi-use products that, you know, products that you can use more than once and just use for different reasons. And it's just great as a highlighter and it's kind of cheaper because you're using it as different things. I haven't actually got any on at the moment, but I'll put a little bit on see if you can see. I'm just using the contour brush by Real Techniques. There's my cheekbone, I think. I don't know if you can see that. I never really used to be into highlighters, but because um, I would just assume highlighters like bam, make your face look greasy, but it's not. It just makes everything stand out. So yeah, I really recommend this to use as a highlighter. Now as it's going into the winter months, the fall, the autumn, um, everything you know, like makeup wise, clothes wise gets darker. Um, all the all the lip colours get darker, all the eyeshadows, and also your cheeks. I kind of love that look of like flustered and rosy, you know, when you go out in the cold you get those pink cheeks. This blush by Sleek in the shade Coral. Um, I don't really know why they called it Coral because it is n not coral at all. <laughs> um, it's actually very kind of red. I don't know why they called it Coral. Um, but this, this blush I've used for, I've had this for over, I swear over two years, I've had it ages, these are the old kind of sleep packaging, but I love, love, love this blush, it's hardly gone down, it's just got my nail print in it where I scratched it, but it looks 
great during this time of the month. This week's makeup is so affordable and so high quality and this blush honestly definitely on par with NARS, it's so good. Next I'm going to show you this primer and it is the L'Oreal Studio Secrets Professional Anti-Shine Mattifying Primer. I always get questions of like, do you use a primer? What's a good primer? Drugstore? Blah blah blah. Um, this one is great and it was really cheap, it was just over £3 I think. Um, I don't know whether they still sell this because it is quite old, but Amazon and eBay will have it definitely. If you're going to be wearing something all day, maybe for going to work, um, then this primer is really great and it's really cheap. Another favourite of mine has been the Barry M nail polishes, just like any kind of shade. I've just been loving all of their shades. They're so affordable, so cheap, but they're really good quality. They're one of the, I don't have anything on my nails today, but they're one of the only polishes that don't kind of chip. If you do have problems with chipping, then just make sure that you use a base coat and a top coat. A top coat normally stops all chipping for me, so maybe give that a try. But yeah, Barry M are definitely one that I always go to and this one's my favourite at the moment and it is called Berry Cosmo. It's really great for autumn. Then just a skincare product. This is the Super Facialist by Una Brennan and it is the Rose Hydrate Intense Moisture Mask and it's suitable for even the most sensitive skin. I love this face mask. Um, I can't remember the price but I'll link all the prices and everything in the description box. I love this face mask. It really does smell of roses, it's so sweet, it literally does feel like you've had a facial after. It's so relaxing, just so soothing for the skin and I really love moisturising products as my skin's quite dry at the moment and this one is just brilliant. Yeah, I really recommend this if you have dry skin. Then lastly is the Charles Worthington Volume and Bounce Texturising Spray. I don't know why I haven't bought this sooner because honestly I don't know where I've been. Um, I know that everyone has been raving about this for months and months and months, for ages, but I've just never grabbed it, I've never really thought, hmm, I'm going to get a texturising spray, I've never really known what it does. Um, I recently started a job at a hair salon and I've been trying out some of their products and I tried out this texturising spray and it made such a difference to my hair, um, so I quickly ran out and grabbed this and it was on a two for buy one get the other one half price or something like that in boots at the moment. So I got two. Yeah, it just gives not only holds but it just gives a bit of texture and bounce to the hair and it's great for if you have maybe layers or thick hair or just long hair. It gives it a bit more bounce because like mine, mine sometimes just falls. It's great for if you want big hair. Anyway, that is it for my favourites video. I hope you enjoyed that. If you want to see more videos like this drugstore related then make sure that you let me know. See you next Thursday.